Hey guys, it's Celeste Johansson here. Um, so many of you know that I transformer planner or plan in my Boho Dreams um, planner, which is this one right here, and it's a vertical layout. This week I transformed the uh, vertical layout to a dashboard layout. Um, way cool idea. So here is, this is what I mean by transformer planning. So that's the end of my regular planner, my Boho Dreams planner. And this is my work planner. So it has all my customers and clients and all that. And then I have my faith planner. So the way it's set up, I have the front and the back of my faith planner here. Um, so what I'm going to do today is actually take out this budget planner because even though I love it, I am not finding myself going to it as often as I should. Um, so I'm going to try something new, okay? And this will give me just a little bit more space in my planner anyway. So, let me take this out real quick. Okay, and then we're back to my Boho Dreams Planner, okay? So that made it a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to maneuver. So we're gonna set that aside. And this is what we're gonna do. So what I was thinking is, you know, I'm not using the classic budget planner like I hoped I would um, and so um, I am wondering if I can transformer planner plan this mini planner um, and so I was like well should I just go buy the mini budget planner um, as many of you know I bought this faith uh, beauty and faith planner at the beginning of the year um, and I used it up until this came out with the dashboard layout and I really really wanted the dashboard layout and I'm really really glad I got it um, but this right now is an 18 month planner so I have it on the classic rings instead of the mini um, but anyway, so I was thinking, well, should I just go get the mini budget planner and transformer planner it into uh, this planner right here? But when I was looking at the mini budget planner that starts in July and goes till June of 2020, um, it is the horizontal layout, which this is the horizontal layout. So what I was thinking, and I already had these, uh, it, it's got expense trackers on one side and the bill pay checklist on the other. Um, and that's basically really the only difference between the uh, July tw 2019 budget calendar planner <laughs> and this one. Um, is that the budget one has expense trackers and bill pay checklist. Now this is designed for the classic size plan planner, but we're gonna make it work. So, because it isn't longer than the mini, it's just longer this way than the mini. So that's easily fixed. So what we're gonna do is okay so we don't need April in here anymore 
Okay, we can take those out. Okay, so I don't need April in here. Okay, and this is actually out of a dashboard. What else is in my way? Well, here you go. See, I had already started doing it, but I was just doing it on a smaller scale. So, we're going to take this out, and we're going to add it to the back, well, or to the front. We'll add it to the front, I guess. Of this one that we're not going to be carrying around with us. Okay. You are in the way. <laughs> we're trying to be productive here. Okay. And I want the covers here. Yeah. Had to think here for a minute. How does this work again? <laughs> so I want both covers. Okay. Just a minute, boo. And then, so, oh, yeah. So I gotta take this cover off because I will be, like I said, transformer planning this. This actually needs to go in that section. Okay. That paper's all ripped anyway. Okay. So, there's that. And then... Yeah. Okay. So, here is where we will start to add... Let's see, we have a little bit left in May. So we will add May. In June. Hold on. Okay. Because I can actually, so like we have December here, and then we have, I don't know if they'll fit on these little mini discs, but. I don't want, well, let's see. Let's get this all finished and see if I want to take, because um, this goes all the way to June of 2019. Um, this dashboard layout does. So let's get back over here and add some of these expense trackers to it. But um, what I'll probably do is not necessarily use this expense tracker so much as, <laughs> I 
baby. Um, more of on the go, I guess. But for the most part, I will be tracking expenses on the daily portion of it. But we'll see how it goes. So now I have the bill pay and the expense trackers in here. So today is, I'll have to find <clears throat> and I have this little magnetic clip. I'll have to find another um, divider thing right here. But anyways, I like the transformer planner part because instead of having a whole bunch of these dashboard dividers, it's just like, oh, here we go. There's my expense tracker, you know, here's, my regular just toss in my purse planner um and i'm not decorating this dashboard layout and i probably won't because it's just you know write things in as they come in type thing so we'll have to see how that goes but maybe i can just pop this in here Okay, so this clear thing, when you buy these mini planners, um, this is the back part of it. So I just cut off um, the little thing that wrapped around it and you have a bookmark and it's really thick plastic. So anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So all I did was take the budget planner out of my classic planner and I'm using these um, expense trackers with the bill pay checklist on the back um, that are designed for the classic planner, but you just cut a little piece off the bottom. Um, anyways, I'm going to use these um, to track my expenses, but mostly it will be like on the daily part. So I'll track the expenses, the things I paid here, the bills that are pay, due here. I'll track it here. So my bills due and the expenses will all be on the same page. Kind of what I'm thinking is just draw a line. So if I, you know, have a lot of different expenses that day or, you know, bills and expenses, um, I can throw it all on one page. Um, but then what I'll probably, what I'm thinking of doing, keeping my budget planner at home and just transferring the information to that bigger planner. So anyways, that's kind of what I'm thinking will work for now. Um, probably till the end of the year. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, so yeah, there's my budget planner. Cause I do have the soap method faith planner. So that's why I didn't really need this little one. Um, cause this little one is a horizontal layout and I love, love, love the soap method. I use it every single day and it's really helped me in my Bible studies. So this would be my regular planner. And then you just flip it around and here is my budget planner for May and June. So, but I do think that this planner is just absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Whereas, you know, the only complaint I have about this planner is for me, I don't find it that pretty. 
Um, it's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> I've, I've actually considered buying the wrong, wrong one in the dashboard layout in the mini. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll get the dashboard layout for the classic. I actually like, um, transforming the, um, vertical to the dashboard because, um, I can give myself more space in areas that I need it and smaller space in other areas. So that's probably what I will stick to. But anyways, this is where we're at right now. And I, re I really think it'll work. I will add some of these into my classic planner. Um, just so if I have it more handy, I can hurry and jot things down on here. Um, but for the most part, I think this will work because this little planner is with me all the time. Um, I very rarely leave this behind and take the classic. I'll take both, but I won't, I very rarely leave this one behind. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll have to see how it goes. But I'm loving the transformer planner in my classic. Um, I just found myself not using the vertical layout in the budget planner. But my budget planner is the 18 month planner um, in the classic size. So if this doesn't work out, I can always go back to it and um, I won't be out much. But either way, the the classic planner that I have is absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so I might use it for something else. So anyway, that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. So anyways, thank you guys. Please, um, consider subscribing to my channel, um, and hitting the notification button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So thank you. Bye.